Richard Ortiz, your host of TheFightersVoice.com. Every Saturday on Radio 1680 AM, voiceography at its finest. Remember, every fighter has a voice. And so do you at 1680 AM, The Fighters Voice. Remember, this segment sponsored by... The furniture place that's best in Fresno, Serrano's Furniture. Hey, if you need furniture, call Serrano's Furniture and they'll hook you up with a recliner right for the Super Bowl. Hey, you know what, Smoke? Before we went to our segment, we were talking about that war. You, in that fight, you showed more heart than Valentine's Day. And I know Valentine's Day is coming up right now. You had an exit out because of the clash of heads in the beginning. Yeah. The cut. You could have said, you know what, I'm cool. You could have pulled a Victor Ortiz, but no, you didn't. You pulled an Arturo Gotti. You accepted the challenge. You embraced the challenge. And yet, in the fourth round, after you were knocked down in the second, in the fourth round, you came after him. Yeah. Was that part of your game plan? No. Getting hit, but it was not part of my game plan. Or coming after the fourth round, I thought, you know, I was going to be able to avoid. And I felt like in the first round, I, I mean, I'm not going to say I was winning because I haven't really watched it like that. But in the first round, you know, it was going the way I wanted to. There was a, lot, a whole lot of... Um, he, he hadn't touched me a whole lot, you know, until we got we headbutted. So I felt like the fight was gonna go that way. But when I got headbutted, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't expect that. When I went to the corner, the ref, came, the doctor came over, asked me if I could see. I told him I can't. I, I told him I was fine. I, I was like, I was fine, you know. And then I, I heard my manager, uh, Repo Rick, came flying over to him to stop it. I could, I hear everyone saying to stop it. Cause he, you know, and I, I'm thinking in my head, I'm not stopping this. All the build up to this, you know, in my head, I was like, I'm fighting. And then in my head, I was like, I could beat Kilo. I'm not stopping this fight. And so he let the doctors make sure he cleared me, made sure I was okay. Brian came over and he was like, Can you see? And I was like, I can't see shit, coach. Excuse my language. I was like, I can't see a thing, coach. Keep it um, real. Yeah, I told him I can't see a thing. He was like, What? And I was like, I can't see nothing. I was like, My whole, my whole left eye was just blank. And then my right eye at the time, because I just got banged in the head, like, you know, the yeah. clash, it was shaky. So it was like out of the right eye, I was seeing double, but I, I could see, but I was seeing double, so it wasn't full, fully clear. And so he just said, okay, this this round just come up and circle to the right, because that's all I could see from him. You could see, yeah, that's I what we did the him. whole fight. I circled to the I right, and him. I would reset. I when I knew him. he was further away from me, I would jump back to left and keep that, going. You had success with that uppercut. There was a time I saw spit fly. Uh, oh, I, I, I see. I see in the replay that I, shot, I, I rocked him. The, the, the rope, the ropes caught him a few times. Just like he dropped me. Yeah. Yeah. It. Um. I, I, that uppercut caught him twice. Like once in the third and then once in the fourth, it caught him. And, I, and it's nothing. And he took it. He took it. He didn't go down. But it just. It, it. I know he felt it. You know. He took it. And Kilo's a tough dude. He's a tough dude. Period. He took it. But yeah, those uppercuts caught him. And then uh, even on that. I couldn't close the distance because I couldn't see the. I didn't know my distance. I couldn't see out the eye, and so like I uppercut him, and I and I felt, and I could hear my corner. I could hear my corner yelling, "Come after him! He's hurt. He does. He's he's done." And so I came after him, and I and right after that, I swung like three times and completely missed. And I knew, and I was, and in my head, I was like, "I can't. I don't know my distance." You didn't swing. You loaded up. Yeah. Like a, I, I, yeah. You loaded up, and I said, "This dude's trying to freaking get him out of there." Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting back. I'm supposed to be covering it, but for that time, that segment, I'm a fan, because I'm a boxing fan. <laughs> and I'm sitting, I see this dude load up, and I, I'm like, oh, he's trying to get him out if he hits that chin over it. And you know what? Kilo was able to weather the storm because he was in great shape. Yeah. You were able to get up from both knockout, not knockdowns because you were in tremendous shape. And you know what? En enough said. I mean, it, you gave the fans exactly what they wanted, and I'll call it the biggest fighting Fresno out of six rounder on national TV that's supposed to that's unheard of you don't get the, this hometown rival so to speak right only six rounds national TV lives up to all the hype and expectation man sure. I mean I never had a chance no I did go see you and I said hey and I remember when I went to go see you they said hey uh, no interviews right now no interviews right now and I said hey do you see me holding a microphone this is bigger than boxing man I said just let me through and when I told you you were sitting down I said no come here I gave you a small hug I said proud of you you did good tonight and then I left because you needed your space, man. Yeah. And I mean that. And I've always told you, Joe, you conduct yourself like a true professional. Always around me uh, like a true professional. And I appreciate what you're doing for boxing. I see your career continue to elevate. And I'm glad. Hey, change is good. Change is good. Yeah, I said it. Change is good. No mm -hmm. disrespect to anybody. Yeah. Uh, we all know uh, how it goes. Um, but, uh, yeah, I I'm glad you're moving on and moving forward. Now. We'll touch on that right at the end of the show. I want to clear your head a little bit. We're going to mix it up a little bit. Your football team's out. My football team's out. We both feel the heartache. We went over this, me and the madman. Now I'm going to go over it with you. Who 
Who do you have in the Super Bowl? Patriots. And why? Okay. Hey, I had them since thing. since the Raiders were out. Like even before that, when Derek Carr was out, I had him. I had him. Um, you can't deny greatness, you know, and it's not so much. I'm not a Patriots fan by any chance, but I no. am a Tom Brady fan, and I and I say that being a Raider fan, knowing the Tuck rule, yeah. you know, the Tuck yeah. rule. We got yeah. them in started, the snow, the but snow. you cannot yeah. deny greatness. Like in basketball, I, I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan. He's great. His his grit. He just his determination to win. Mm-hmm. Michael Jordan, his determination to win. Tom Brady's got that. He's the to me the greatest quarterback that's ever played in the NFL. And you cannot deny that. People always tell me, oh, Joe Montana played in four Super Bowls. Like, that's all he got to. That's, he only got to four. They're like, he's four and oh. It's like Tom Brady's been, yeah, he's, he's lost three of them, but he's been to seven. He's won four. Exactly. This is his seventh one. I mean, the man's a win. And so, yeah, you can't deny greatness. And Tom Brady's going to do it again. And then after this, I'm not sure where. I'm hoping not because Derek Carr is back next year. And I, I'm hoping he's taking the reins no, from there. He will but, be back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he will be back. But hopefully our team's at that level. But. I'm just telling you, Tom Brady, you can't, you yeah, can't deny greatness. You're surrounded by Raider fans, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> I go to my car, man. I heard about you guys, the way you guys right. act, man. Hey, we got a big fight coming up this weekend on Showtime Boxing. Mikey Garcia out of Garcia Academy. Uh, he has a tough fight in front of him, man. Uh, I believe the uh, guy's first name is Dejan or Dejan. And, hey, correct me if I'm wrong. It's one hell of a, a name to try to pronounce. But I give the man... Props and respect. Uh, he has a colorful record. Also, uh, Mikey has one as well. These guys going to get in on it. And, of course, I'll be pulling for Mikey. We sat down. Uh, he gave us the time of day. We interviewed him. What's your take on that, Joe? Um, I got Mikey Garcia. Um, and I feel like this is a, a tougher fight, but it's more of a fight geared towards Mikey Garcia to take over that belt. You know what I mean? Yeah. And more to him marching towards a bigger super fight, especially with, I believe he's with uh, Mayweather Productions, all right? He's with Mayweather. You, you know what? He's or did he's, he not? He's entertained that, but the, when we spoke, is he a free agent still? Yes, he's still. Oh, free okay, okay. And okay. you know, he's very articulate. He's a very smart man. He knows how to handle himself. He took out the middleman right now, and uh, oh, there we are, the minute round. But you know what? Uh, Mayweather wrote the blueprint about being your own person, mm-hmm. and uh, that's starting to pay off for him, of course, big time. But other fighters are starting to adapt to that and saying, "Hey, let's take out the middle person," or, or why, or question why we need the middle person. Mm-hmm. If you're smart, you can handle yourself like you have, Joe. I mean, people have said, "Well, he's doing this, he's saying that." Joe is trying to handle himself, and uh, you can't knock the man for that. And like I said, I got much respect for that. Uh, what can we see in the horizon, as far as at least a month? Oh, I mean, give us a date, not a month, but give us a date when we can see you in the ring. It'll be at the beginning of the summer. Um, I, I was offered to fight this March, but the doctors had told me it's not smart. I was cleared, but it's not smart. To, they said to let this heal as long as I can, this cut above my eye so it doesn't open up again. They said, actually, year, let it, if I can, as close as I can to a year. Yeah. But they said, we know you're not going to wait that long. So probably the next fight that Top Rank has in the Valley. In, um, and then you're going to see all Smoke Show, right? We're going to take a quick break. I mean, to cut you off. Smoke Show! Yep.